The Department of Agriculture's efforts to control stray dogs and feral chickens have been put on hold as it deals with the quarantine at its animal shelter. But one business owner says that halt is causing him headaches. Came on 27, Seaford Russell Jr. has more. And I'm surprised there's so many around with traffic and any other predators out there. <laughs> Tourist Brooke Scow considers feral chickens a pleasant feature in Cayman. But in a recent interview, Department of Agriculture Deputy Director Brian Critchlow says those wild chickens keeps his staff busy. We all know there's a feral chicken challenge on the island, a feral chicken problem. The department, because we are responsible for animal control, we get a lot of people contacting the department to, um, to assist with removing feral chickens. One of those calling for help is Coconut Joe's manager, Dion Chow. He says it seems the feral chicken population is too much for the DOA to handle. Uh, they have been very supportive with us. We have uh, worked with them before uh, trying to get away a few, but seeing that there are so many chickens on the island, they multiply so quickly that uh, it, it's, it's a bit uncontrollable. But Ms. Gao says she doesn't mind them. Honestly, it's kind of interesting to see. Like where I'm from, you don't see a lot of it unless it's on a farm. While Mr. Chow agrees it's an appeal for tourists, the animals are also a health hazard. It becomes a little, you know, uh, for nuisance sometimes because uh, recently they're coming on the tables, they're jumping all around and they get the floor very dirty. For the time being, the nuisance will have to remain. So we've had to suspend um, going out and delivering or picking up cages from people to deal with fried chickens. We are looking at other alternatives. Seaford Russell, Kiman 27. And there is no word from the DOA when they will resume capturing the feral chickens.